All right, so I found the final implement that we'll be using today, and that is some beeswax. We got this from a local honey farmer. And then a soldering gun. I prefer like a little handheld one that are cheaper and less power, but that's in my DJ gear uh, being stored. So we'll be using this. I got a clean soldering tip to use so that we're not using any nasty soldering and flux type of things in there. So then you just want to coat it and then remove it. So you have two settings on here. You have one and then it clicks past and goes to another. So 150 watts right there. That's more than enough. So once you see, see the uh, previous wax start to smoke, and you know you're ready. Just trying to drip it down on there so it lands melted and seals in really well. Trying to pick up some excess here. Same with this one, get it pointing straight down. So in a matter of moments, I was able to cover up two holes in a crock that I was able to talk the price down from 60 to 40. I was able to seal it with a natural product. Once you start going back to these old crocs, it just becomes increasingly difficult to find perfect insides. Um, so then I'll take this and scrape it. This time I'll try something different. I've tried this before. It's one of those plastic scrapers for inside of Teflon, or which we don't have any of, uh, cast iron or something else. So moving away from the center so that we don't pick it up, we're going to try and edge around this and push away. If this ever needs to be repaired, I'm sure you can just melt it out a little bit, melt back in some fresh goo, and make sure you have a nice molten pool right over it a little bit. This is a pretty cool tool. I'm, I'm liking this. This is uh, the second crock that I've repaired. The first one, uh, I was trying to use a washcloth to rub out the excess. Eventually used like a butter knife, I think. But I think this is a lot safer to not damage the uh, precious antique here. And this is getting pretty flattened out. So you can save this stuff back and reuse it. It's like one of those erasers for artists, kind of.
So with an investment of less than 10 minutes, we have restored an antique to functional value. Now, let it also be said that, you know, this may not hold perfectly, especially if you don't do it right, and your food may rot if you use an antique, which is why we recommend the uh, one with the moat, which we're going to be trying them both. Um, with wild fermentation, he says just scrape the mold off the top. When you use a cheesecloth on the top of these, they don't have lids or moats or anything like that. So uh, we're just gonna be going with it. The brine pickle that we have down in the basement has already started. It's smelling really good right now. Um, and this is probably going to be a sauerkraut for our big main kraut. I just like to show the total time it takes. Close up both. Uh, drip this along the hairline crack and then you can go back over it with the soldering iron to make it fit down in there really nice. Um, these we were doing kind of like a patch job, like a drywall, except that you're not fitting any, anything over the top of it. We're just patching it up and sanding it away with this, if you will. So hopefully the honeybee wax will not be antimicrobial in our system here. That was the only thing I thought of. But it's going to be just this little map of stuff right here. So it shouldn't harm the mixture as a whole. Let's see how much time we've spent on this. Pardon the shaky picture now. Yeah, we're at eight minutes and I've taken my time, slowly moved through everything. And there you can see it. And that is about as smooth to the perfect original contour as one could imagine. No chemicals that are toxic, just natural beeswax. And there's the rest of the inside. Look at that shine. This is a beautiful piece. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for joining us today. Let this uh, image take you on out here. Pick up wild fermentation and uh, the other the art of fermentation, Sandor Alex Katz. You begin your own journeys. Finished product. This is Clint White, Green Sheep of the Family, signing out.